Hello, everybody. It's Mr. Smith. I'm joking. We don't know Mr. Smith. It's Mr. Montgomery. Of course, who else is going to be? Uh, back with a new math lesson. Okay, remember we're on Unit 8. Today we're on Lesson 4 for Unit 8. Uh, and we have to make sure we are on page 337. 3 in the hundreds, a 3 in the tens, and a 7 in the ones. If you are not on this page, do me a favor, pause the video, find that page in your Robot Turtle book. And remember, we are on our second Robot Turtle book. On the side, it should say V-O-L dot 2. If it does not say this on the side of your workbook, then you have the wrong one. Make sure it says this on the spine of the book. And you are on page 337, which is actually towards the front. I know it's really weird. It's almost like if you were to stack the books together and it just continued on. All right. So if the video is still playing, I'm going to guess that you are on the correct page. You do not need to wait and you're ready to get started. So what we're going to do is real quick, just look at this picture up here. Just look at it. Don't count it. Don't count it. I'm actually going to cover it up real quick so you cannot count. I'm going to cover it up real quick. Ah, I have blocked it all so you can't count it. But you got to see it, and we're going to make a guess. Okay? We are going to guess how many cubes we just saw. And you're going to go ahead and write it where it says estimate 1. We're, all that means is we are going to take a fun guess. We're going to take a fun guess, okay? So, go ahead and write your guess down on that first line. You know, I'm going to make a guess too. I'm going to guess that there are, ooh, let's say, uh, 47. I'm going to guess that there's 47. That is my guess. Okay. You have your, you have your estimate written down? Okay, cool. So, they also want a second estimate, so we're going to have some fun with this one. I'm going to uncover all of the red, we're going to look at it one more time, and I'm going to cover it back up, and we're going to guess again uh, what number of cubes there are. Now, maybe after our second guess, you think that there might be more or less. You can absolutely write that down on this next line for where it says estimate number two. If you think that it has not changed, and you are 100% correct on your first estimate. You can just write it again. All right, no biggie. No biggie. We're just having fun here. All right, ready? I'm about to uncover the red. But remember, we're not counting each cube. Don't sit there and count each cube. We're going to take a fun guess. Okay. And take a look. And I'm going to cover it back up again. I'm going to cover it back up again. Oh, that is not covering up very well. <laughs> oh, man. I gotta make sure. Oh, come on. That's not covering up either. I gotta make sure I cover it up good. Arr, try to cover it. Cover, 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 cover. Okay. So, maybe your estimate has changed. Maybe it didn't. But you're going to write down where it says estimate number two. I remember my first estimate was... Uh, 47. But you know, after seeing it a second time, I think there might be more. I think there might be like uh, 54 cubes. So, my estimate changed because when I looked at it again, I, I thought to myself, you know what? I think there might be a few more tens than uh, there were the first time. And maybe... I thought that there, there might have been a few less one cubes. All right, did you write your estimates down? Your fun guesses? Okay, so now, after, since you have your fun guesses written down, let's clear all that blue off of there, and we're going to figure out what number we have, how many cubes we have total. Okay, so I wrote down 4754. Uh, you know, so I got to kind of back up. Boop, 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 boop. I'm going to rewrite my numbers. So my first estimate was 47. 
My next estimate was 54. And this, remember, this is just without us fully counting every single cube on here. But if you look closely, we see a whole bunch of you can call them 10 towers, or 10s rods, 10 sticks, whatever you want, feel like calling them. But when you see these bunch of cubes stuck together, this is a group of 10. Okay, so all these towers or rods are called, they're 10s. That's all there is to it. So let's, uh, before we get started, on your paper, what I would love for you to do is make two boxes like I did at the bottom of uh, the page here. See what I did at the bottom? I made a little box and at the very top I just wrote the word tens in blue. Now you don't have to use a fancy color, you can just write the word tens. And then next to it I made another box and in red I wrote the word ones. Now if you want to be fancy and you just happen to have crayons or colored pencils next to you, you can go ahead and uh, write the words in different colors like I did. I am doing this for a special reason that you will see very soon. But before we go any further, make sure that you take your pencil, draw a, a nice box at the bottom of your page, and write the word TENS in it. But don't have the word TENS take up the whole box, just keep it at the top. And next to that, make another box, and write the word ONES in it. Just like I did right here. Okay, now if you need more time, of course you can pause the video just like we always do. Uh, but if not, we're going to keep on rolling. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to count all these sets of tens that I pointed out to you. Okay, so what I like to do is uh, I'm going to put like a little dot on my ten sticks or ten towers, whatever you want to call them. So I'm going to count them one. Oh, let me change the color here. Because I wrote tens in blue, I got to use blue. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so how many tens did we just count? Well, we counted seven. So, in this box where I wrote tens, we are going to write the number seven because that's how many sets of tens we just counted, these towers here. Next, we need to figure out how many ones. So let's count them real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six ones. Remember, the ones are the little cubes that are all by themselves. That would go in the ones place. So, we can write that number down. We have six. Oh, let me pick a better color. I need red, because I'm keeping them different colors. Okay, so we have seven tens and six ones. Change these colors here, too. So they just stick out a little bit easier for you guys. Okay, so... Remember, the tens place is always going to be on this side when we have any two-digit number. So we could have the number um, 45. 4 is going to be our tens place. If we have the number 38, the 3 is in our tens place because it's on this the left side. It is the first number that we see in any two digit number. And when I say two digit, that just means that there's two numbers standing side by side, like here, like 45. They stand next to each other and 38 stand next to each other. So we see this, the first number we see is always our tens. All right, so let me erase those. And since we figured out our tens and ones in this picture, we can write down the total amount of cubes, which is 70, six and if your estimate was uh pretty close good job that's awesome if it wasn't it's not a big deal estimates are basically just guessing all right so 
Now that we've really focused on breaking each of these down into our tens and ones and separating them, sp ah, sorry, separating them into a place value mat, that's what we're going to call this here. This thing I'm putting a red box around. When we separate numbers like this, this is called a place value mat, and we, this is what we are going to work with for our lesson today. So let's go ahead and turn the page and do some practice problems. All right, so now we should all be looking at page 338, 338, and let's take a look at the top real quick. Oh my gosh, too close, too close. Let's zoom out. Come on, computer, zoom out. All right, so you can see here that this little boy is doing the same thing that we just did. He counted three tens towers, right? So on this place value mat, we put the three in the tens place. Because the tens always comes before the ones. Next, he counted five ones cubes. Now these are cubes that are not connected and they're all by themselves. Counted five. So he puts them in the ones place. So remember, the tens comes first, and then the ones is afterwards, just like if we were counting in the classroom. Okay, and then after you write down these numbers in each uh, correct place, we have a three in the tens, a five in the ones. When you put them together, they make the number 35. All right, so if you like, you can go ahead and trace that also. And I just want to walk through number one with you guys so we can just double check, make sure we know what they want us to do for these problems. But I'm sure you guys are going to get it super duper quick. So let's do practice problem number one. We're going to walk through it together. So how many tens rods do you see? Well, we see one, two, three. So just right below... I I just like to do this. You can either write below or right next to it. I counted three. And how many ones do we see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I counted eight. I'm going to write eight. And see how I wrote three in the tens and an eight in the ones? You're just going to transfer those numbers on over. Watch. Boop. Right there. Three goes here in the tens place, right? because that's where the three rods were, or towers. And the eight is going to go in the ones place, way over here. Whoop. Because that's where this, those singles cubes were. They're all by themselves, scattered. So we keep them in that same place value. So we have three tens. We have eight ones. And now they want us to do a little bit more writing. They want us to rewrite how many tens? Well, we just told you, book, we have three tens. And how many ones? Again, we already told you, book, but we will write it again. We have eight ones. And when we smush them together, we get the number 38. All right. So... I would like for you all to try number two all on your own. You're going to count the tens. Write that down in the tens place. Count the ones. Write it down in the ones place. And then they want you to rewrite how many tens and how many ones and what big number do they make when you smush them together. So I'll give you guys a quick minute to do that. I don't think it's going to take you very long. All right, if you're not done, 
number two yet, that's fine. Hit that pause button, hit the space bar, pause the video, then when you're all set, hit play, and then you can continue and check your work. All right, so let's go over this together. Let's see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count these 10 towers first. One, two, three, and four. Uh, they made that picture a little goofy. It looks uh, a little overlapped, but it's okay. There's four. So I'm going to write a four in my tens place. And then I'm going to count the ones. Well, guess what? This is really easy because there's just one cube. So I write a one in the ones place. And they're just asking us again, how many tens do you have? Well, we just told you, book, we have four tens. And how many ones? Well, we have just one. So when we smush them together, we make the number 41. And if you look over here in this place value math that we just used, it kind of already looks like they're a little smushed together, right? So that might help you remember what number these two digits make. All right. So if you are not in my classroom, please stop the video. Let your teacher know that you're all done. Uh, and I will uh, see you guys next time. Okay. I hope this video helped. Now, for the friends that are in my classroom, I have two assignments set up for you today. Okay, so let me show you what those assignments are. So to get to our assignments, I have two assignments for you. We, of course, click on our man in the blue box that I'm already in. And then we click on classwork. Now the the first assignment I want you to do is says 8-4 quick check. It's at the tippy top here and after that I want you to go to 8-4 extra practice and I'm going to show you what's going to look like so this first one is just three questions on the Savas website the next one is on IXL and this is what it looks like right here so uh, the first question says which place value model shows five and you're going to click which one shows five. If you needed to read it for you, you can click on this little um, sound icon right there. All right. But which one shows five? Well, it's this green one. And then you hit submit, right? And for some of them, you might have to type it in. What number is shown? Well, you can uh, either think about the, the place value mat. We have one ten and one one, right? Eleven. Or you can count on 10, 11. Either way, you're going to get the same answer. And then click Submit. And you're going to keep doing that until uh, it tells you to stop, pretty much. Um, but if you get all the way to the 100% mark, that is absolutely awesome. So that's what I want you to really try for. Okay, try to get 100%. That would be just awesome. All right, but that's it. So I hope this video helped. I hope you understand what we're doing. If you're confused about anything, please come ask me uh, whatever question, or if I'm in the middle of teaching, you can always just kind of sit through the rest of the lesson if I'm still teaching, and maybe that might clear up some questions for you. Okay, so uh, that's it, guys. Uh, don't forget to finish your two assignments, right? They each say 8-4. First do the quick check, then do the extra practice, and if you finish all those, then you may go on Pink Cat. All right, so as always, I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.